What's up everybody? In today's video, I'll be showing you the best armors you need to get right now before the DLC releases in Elden Ring. I'll include armors that you must have for extra health or whatever it may be, and also some secret armors you probably missed in your playthrough of Elden Ring. So next time, you can get them. And I'll also show some really cool looking armors cosmetic wise, so let's get into it. This first set is the Raging Wolf Armor. You may recognize it because it's in all of the cover art for the game. You can get this set by completing Bernal's Letters, who is located inside the Volcano Manor, and he will make you go around the map killing different enemies. And eventually, you'll get a letter to kill Vargram, an enemy inside the original round table hold at Lindell, and killing him will drop this armor. This set has great stats, along with looking insanely cool. This next set is the Drake Knight set. What's cool about this set is mainly the chest piece. Because of its dragon wing on the back, it makes it unique compared to other sets. To get this, you'll have to make your way to this site of grace in Farum Azula, so it's pretty late game. Then, head down and follow the way I go. Either go down the elevator or jump down and follow the ledge. Be careful with those birds, they can be really annoying. Anyways, once you've jumped down here, head to the left, and it'll lead you to a chest with the armor inside. At the end, you'll find the chest, and that's how you get the set. This is probably one of my favorite armor sets in the game because of how cool it looks, and it's just very unique. Stats-wise, I don't think it's too good though, but you can do a lot of cool things cosmetically with just the chest piece. I have to say, the helmet is pretty ugly though. This is the Black Knife set, another really cool looking armor set. You get this transparent cloak on top of you whenever you wear the full set, I think. And another really nice detail is whenever you wear the chest piece, all your movement becomes silent. So, no more footstep sounds. To get this, you'll have to head to the Ordina Town, which is a very late game place, since it's past the consecrated snowfield, and the only way to get there is using the Halig Tree Medallion so I recommend go looking up a video for that. At this site of grace, head all the way behind the town until you're at this bridge. Under the bridge, you'll find the dead body of a black knife assassin, and he'll have the armor set. Next is the Hoslo's armor. You've probably noticed that I've been wearing it throughout the entire video, and that's because I really like it. To get it, it's the same as the Raging Wolf armor. So if you're gonna get that set, then you'll also get this one too. Just keep completing Bernhal's letters, and eventually you'll kill Juno Hoslo, the enemy who will drop this set. You don't see Bernhal in my game, and that's because I've already defeated Rikard, the boss of this area. So if you haven't defeated him yet, come here and do Bernhal's letters to get a bunch of different armor sets, along with the two I've already talked about in this video. This is the Veteran's Armor, and I don't see enough people talking about this. This is a really bulky armor, so if you're going for a small or light build, this armor probably isn't for you. This whole set looks really nice together, especially the cape, and to get this, you'll have to kill Commander O'Neill, a boss necessary to unlocking the Halig Tree Medallion. He's located at the end of this castle in the mountaintops. He's a pretty tough boss, so watch out. After killing him, head back to the round table and talk to the finger reader where you normally turn in your remembrances and you can buy the armor set from her for 18,000 runs. Next is Blade's armor set. This is for sure my favorite armor set in the game, the cape along with the wolf mask, just look amazing. To get this, you'll have to finish Rani's questline, the entire thing, I won't go into spoilers since the questline is amazing, and it leads to probably the best ending in the game, but after you finish the questline, you'll get this armor set. It is a really long journey to get this armor set, but in the end, it's worth it. To start the quest, head over to Korea Manor, and over there, beat the boss. After that, head outside the boss room and travel to the farthest tower, and at the top, you'll find Rani. Accept her request to be her servant, 
and now do what she asks. You'll have to watch a video on how to finish this quest line, since it is really long. Now, I wanted to go over some quick honorable mentions. First is Rani's armor itself. It's a very weak armor, but it's nice and like Blade's armor, you'll have to finish Rani's quest line in order to get this. After finishing it, head back to the tower where you meet her, and I believe there will be a chest there with her armor. Sorry if I'm wrong, it's been a while since I've done her quest line. This is the Spellblade set, a very useful armor set when it comes to magic builds. This set is very small, with only a weight of 8.6, but it has an 8% increase to all magic skills when the entire set is equipped. So if you're doing a magic build, I would highly recommend using this set, since it's also really easy to get it. You get it from Rogier, who you'll probably first meet at Stormvale Castle. Eventually, he'll pass away and you can pick up his armor. You don't even have to do anything. Just play the game, and at a certain point, head to the round table hold, and his armor will be there. For the next set, I have the Ronin's armor. This is one of my favorite sets in the game, mainly because of the headpiece. You could put this on almost anything and it'll look good, but the rest of the set looks great as well, which is why I love it. To get this set, it's pretty easy. But first, you'll have to make it to the mountain tops of the giants using the grand lift of Rold. Once there, travel a bit until you find this NPC. Don't worry, he'll be here no matter what you do. Even if you kill the NPC that looks just like him earlier in the game, since in his dialogue, he says that him and the other guy are two different people. So no matter what, you'll always be able to get his armor. And yeah, after killing him, he'll drop the Ronin set. And for the final outfit, I have the Black Flame Monk set. As you can see, I don't have the full set since it's pretty rare to get. So I'll just show you a picture of what it looks like. I really want the full armor set since it looks really good, especially the chest piece. The only problem is that the only way to get this is by farming a specific enemy over and over again, and praying he drops the pieces of the set. The only way to get this is by heading to the Divine Tower of Khalid, and if you don't have the grace inside there already, you'll have to do a bunch of parkour in order to get it, which is pretty tedious so I didn't record myself doing it. But once down there, there will be an enemy you'll have to kill over and over again and eventually he'll drop each piece of the set one by one. The worst part is that you can get duplicates of the same item, which makes getting the entire set even rarer. Anyways, if you guys know any more good or cool looking armors, or even cool armor combinations like mine's here, leave it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot. But yeah, see ya.